Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Element Custom Splits. Inside the program, um, I have a design on the screen. I'm just going to show you how to go in. First, I'm going to show you how to do the uh, user defined split, uh, which is this uh, icon here um, that allows you to go in and um, and do split lines uh, in, a, in an object. And um, I'm going to go in, I'm going to zoom in. We're going to use the, uh, the water on the bottom here. And I'm just going to go in, I'm going to click this and I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to fill, fill it in with this using the user defined split. The way that this works inside the program is I'm just going to go in and um, choose the complex fill stitch with this and um, making sure that I have the tatami icon here selected and I'm also going to click on the user defined split here uh, once I select that on the screen I'm going to go in and now I'm going to actually digitize the uh, the fill of the water on the inside and I'll start this I'm just going to just digitize it just like I'm digitizing a regular complex fill stitch so go in and enter my points And just like this, this is a very, very nice tool that you can use inside your program that allows you to just do some very, very nice, intricate, just different type of uh, effects using the uh, stitches that allow you to go in and uh, create patterns. Here, as I finish, I'm going to press enter. And on the lower left side of my screen, on my prompt bar, it's asking me currently in a point one on boundary two, which we all know uh, or should know is a donut hole. If you've taken any of my classes before, we don't have one. So we're going to press enter again to finish. And now it's asking us for a stitch angle. The stitch angle that we use, we use a stitch angle like this. And once I've entered that stitch angle, now is the time for me to go in and enter in my split uh, points that the needle penetrations will uh, go in. So I'm going to go in, I'm just going to do little ripples like this. And you can do straight lines. Here I'm just doing just little bumps in the water like this, little, little wave looking things here. And I'm going to go to the outside and I'm going to come back in. and do the same thing like this. So I'm going in, putting my points in here, where my needle penetrations were gonna be, and I'll stop right here. Um, now I'm, 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 I've completed it, so I finished, so I'm gonna press enter, okay, and I'm gonna press enter again to finish it. And I'm gonna kick my, check my select tool here, change my color, and of course go in and move this underneath my water. So now, uh, underneath the borders here, you see that the I've gone in and I've entered these in for the user-defined split. I can also go in, I can select this and go to my reshape tool by pressing H. And my, my lines are still here also. So I can actually go in, I can move these lines around here. They're still available for you to move. If I need to go in and edit them in any way, like this and yeah, this is just just a great tool um, that you can use inside your software to create some cool effects um, really 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 nice uh, again this particular feature here inside of inside the program is called user defined split and you can go in add curve points by clicking on the uh, little squares and pressing your space bar down to change those and again, just a very nice way of going in. You can delete the no points if you don't need them to change that. Okay. If you needed to go in and add some more, of course, you can go in as I insert my points after uh, I've gone in and done my reshape tool. And I can move these, right click, do a curve like this. And I can continue with this also. So again, this is a very, very nice feature inside the program. 
And again, it's called the user defined split. Great, great, great uh, uh, way to go in and add uh, dimensions, uh, to add uh, lines inside the uh, objects that you're working with on screen. It's a really, really, really nice effect. Okay, and so that's going to do it for the user defined split. Now, and I'll click on my select tool here. The next one that we're going to go over is called the a carving stamp okay the carving stamp is a way of going in and stamping objects um, into a, a an existing uh, design um, you can do that while you're creating the file also but generally after after the objects created like the fill here you see uh, I'm going to navigate this is the stamping tool here but for the carving stamp and I'm going to just left click on it to open that up here this is what it looks like here now, um, so I've gone in, and once I select my object on the screen, I have the ability, I can use a pattern. Like if I select here, use a pattern, um, it gives me a list of uh, carving stamp patterns here that are already done. And if I wanted to go in and uh, put in a queue, I can select the queue here on the screen. It's gonna show up here in my, um, in my little visual box, and I'm gonna click Use Stamp this point here I can go in and give two reference points like one and the the second one will let me rotate it left click again here and I can do it again here again two reference points and as far as letting me go in and use this particular stamp tool inside the software just two reference points again and you can see this stamp here actually that it created inside the program I'm going to press escape Okay, so not only can I go in and create these stamps inside the program, I could also navigate back to the carving stamp um, properties. And I can use appearance here, and I can select, use a soften stamp like this, or I can use a raise stamp like this. And what happens is basically it just transforms the inside of the object once uh, the raise uh, stamp is selected. And uh, so what it does, it goes in and instead of using a complex fill stitch for the for the inside fill, it just uses a straight uh, satin stitch. It was going to jump from one from the inside to the outside in this particular case. So keep in mind that when you're going to use this based on the size of the object, you just want to make sure that the that you have a sensible amount of space here um, and so where it's not going in and it's uh, doing a stitch that's too long okay and that could be just changing the size of it making it smaller and um, if I go in now click on my reshape tool I can go in and I can edit this okay once I click the reshape tool I've got my little node point here in the center of each of these and if I click it here you'll notice some little symbols here appearing on the outside okay and with one I can reduce the size of it to make it smaller like this okay as I click here again um, one will let me go in and change the shape of it by skewing it also I can move this here one will let me go in and make it taller but not wider Okay, and it's basically going to give you the same tools that you have inside the lettering package as far as going and using the reshape um, by making it wider but not taller. Okay. Um, this one will let you rotate it. <clears throat> and you can change this just like that. Okay. And just, um, again, you click on in reshape mode, you click on that object. Uh, you have the option to go in and grab it in uh, upper right corner to make it smaller, to make the stitches also uh, smaller as well. And so uh, again, you have the option here to go in and do this inside your program with the carving stamp by going in and moving these objects around in it as well, just like this, by just going in and changing that uh, location by using the reshape tool inside your software. Okay, and that is the raised stamp. If I uncheck it, it'll go back to the 
straight tatami stitch basically but it's just going to do a needle penetration on these lines here and it also keep in mind that it will also um, raise the stitch count of that object as well so keep that in mind because these needle penetrations have to be made actually and that will increase the stitch count of that particular item that you're working with on screen okay I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clear the stamps by selecting the clear stamp here now I also have another option by using this I can also go in and I can digitize my own object for this if I choose digitize all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna click start digitizing and I'm just gonna go in and do a little circular thing like this press enter to stop it press enter again that's gonna put my item inside my little box here that I just digitized and um, I can go in and I could um, use the stamp go to the screen and I left click again two reference points one two one two okay and I can continue this by adding these objects inside of my image here which is very very cool and so so you can go in and create things here and just do some very very nice uh, different type of uh, embossing if you will uh, for this type of uh, work here so as I go in and do my two reference points one two and one two and so that will let me go in and, and do this I'm gonna press escape and click press my select tool here so here we go again I have my objects on the screen and again you could always go to your appearance and use a either a soft Well, for this one with the raised it's a bit different also because I've used running stitches here actually and I, and I have an open shape so it's gonna be a little bit different this time than it was the last time because I had a closed shape with the Q and so again um, you can use an object also if you have something already on um, the screen that you that you've gone in and done and you can use that optic also and put in there as well uh, even a full design okay if you did a full design and you went in you can actually put that design in there as well uh, for uh, that whole imagery so if I select it here and you have different items here inside your list that I can go in and, uh, and I can use this and so as I'm using this, um, I have a cross, I have a heirloom uh, motifs I can use with this. Different types. Um, nature shots here. I can go in, increase, and put nature shots in there also. So, and so you have a library here that you can also choose from to go in and use this particular feature inside the program. Again, it's a great, great feature inside the program. Uh, it's called the Carving Stamp Tool. It'd be a great addition. That's going to do it for our custom splits. Thank you for your time. And as always, we ask that you visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thanks for watching. For more product information, visit www.willcomeamerica.com. To reach our sales staff, call 877-657-7500 or email softwaresales at willcomeamerica.com.